Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. <coughs> by Hashem Akaha Kodash. Double honesty, Apostle GMS of Great Millstone. Um, all right. Um, coming at you with another video. All right. Um, this has to do with uh, Vanessa. All right. Out there in New Zealand. All right. Says New Zealand reports first death link to, you, you know, the, you know what, Crown 19, Vanessa. Okay. And this is proof right here, man. All right. They're telling you right here for you people out there. I don't believe. New New Zealand reported its first, second, second, I mean, it's like its first recorded death linked to the, you know what, Crown 19, Vanessa. The health ministry said on Monday, after a woman suffered a rare heart muscle inflation side effect, the report comes as the country battles an outbreak of the so-called Delta variant of the you know what after nearly six months of being virus free it followed a review by an independent panel monitoring the safety of the Vanessa's this is the first case in New Zealand where death in the days following vaccine uh saw damn Vanessa has been linked to the you know what crown 19 Vanessa the ministry said in a statement without giving the woman's age. The Vanessa monitoring panel attributed the death to myocardias, a rare but known side effect of the Vanessa, the ministry added. So they're telling you this thing has side effects. They knew about this, but they still give it to you. The board said that myocardias was probably due to Vanessa. According to the ministry, health ministry said other medical issues at the same time could be influenced the outcome after Vanessa. Myocardias is an inflation of the heart muscle that can limit the organ's ability to pump blood and cause changes in heartbeat rhythms. Um, Pfizer said it recognized there could be rare reports of myocardias after Vanessa, Vanessa nations, but such side effects were extremely rare, which that's a lie. They know F -f Pfizer takes adverse events that are potentially associated with our Vanessa very seriously. The company said, so why are you giving it out? If you know this thing does stuff like this to people. Isn't the whole point of this is to cure people, to help people, not to kill them? You make no sense. You're contradicting yourself. The benefits of a Vanessa with Pfizer Crown 19 Vanessa continue to greatly outweigh the risk of both Crown 19 infection and Vanessa side effects, including myocardias. Pfizer said, regulators in the United States, the European Union, and the World Health Organization have said that, R, that mRNA Vanessa's from Pfizer with German partner BioNTech and by Moderna were associated with rare cases of myocardias or pericardias, an inflation of the lining around the heart but that the benefits of the shots outweigh any risk. That's bull. The case affecting mainly younger men tend to be mild and treatable, but can lead to serious illness and hospitalization. There have been no U.S. deaths reported for young adults who developed myocardias after being given the mRNA Vanessa's. Well, that's a lie because people have died from that here, but they just don't say it. Not, not from myocardias, but people have died from taking the Vanessa. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention said on Monday, 
Separately, it is also said that a total of 2,574 U.S. cases of myocarditis or pericarditis had been reported, more than 300, 330 million doses of the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna Vanessas have been administrated in the United States. The risk of myocarditis was 18.5 per million doses given among people aged 18 to 24 after the second Pfizer dose and 20.2 per million for the for that age group among Moderna second dose recipients. The risk decreases with age, according to the CDC analysis based on its national reporting system. The EU's drug regulatory said on July 9th that five people have died due to the heart side effect after receiving either of the two mRNA Vanessa's in the European economic area, all of whom were elderly or had other diseases, more than 200 million mRNA doses have been administrated in the region. New Zealand was has previously approved use of the Pfizer BioNTech and Johnson and Johnson and AstraZeneca Vanessa's, but only the Pfizer Vanessa has been approved for rollout to the public. More than 3 million doses have been given, so far mostly to people over 50. New Zealand reported 53 Crown 19 cases on Monday, taking its tally of infections in the current outbreak to 562. Amid a nationwide lockdown and forced this month to limit spread of the Delta variant. You see... <laughs> It's, it's the Vanessa's that's causing cases to go up because you're a walking virus, all right? You're 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 like a walking 5G tower that's spreading this, all right? Reporting by Privian Mini and additional reporting by... Yeah, that's it. That, that's the end of the article, all right? Um, I'm going to get on scripture. Yeah. Um, it says... This is the, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay. Um. quick um, give me a second yeah yeah all right my mind was going all right it says um this is the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 12 verse 13 who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now wild beast okay for you people that talk a lot of s-i-h-i-t you know and don't believe that this Vanessa can kill you, all right, all right. But there, here's proof, man. All right, and there's many more. Okay. This is why so many people are hesitant on taking this. All right. You gonna tell me a Vanessa is the cure? All right, for something we know it is is planned anyways all right that was fixed that was planned 